All right, so once upon a time, I was in the city of Zaria ministering and I met this young man and the young man came for counseling and he told me where he's from, a certain state in Nigeria and he told me that he was in a very remote area and uh, he was going to fetch water from the stream. I know those of you in the United Kingdom don't know what a stream is. It's a small body of water that flows, all right? And that's where our villages drink from. There's no pipe bomb water. There's no borehole systems. They drink directly from the open stream. <laughs> you must have discovered why we are very healthy. It's because we've been exposed to all kinds of germs and the germs are now at home with our body. Okay? So, because the other day my friend came from the United States to Ghana and he could not drink bottled water. That the bottled water was reacting with his stomach. That there was only one type of bottled water in Ghana he could drink. That's the Voltic, Voltic bottled water. That was the only type of bottled water. <laughs> Hallelujah. I don't want to comment on that, but I'm just telling you that God has blessed us, okay? So this guy went to the stream to fetch water. And then a spirit leaped out of the stream and suspended in the air and told him that, you see, we've been looking for you. We want to give you wisdom. Are you interested in our wisdom? He said, oh yeah, I'm, I'm interested. I'm interested. So they now gave him three alligator pepper to eat. And the reason why they gave him alligator pepper, sorry, those of you online, you may not know, there's one type of pepper that you don't find in the stores in the United Kingdom, in London. You don't find them in Cardiff. You don't find them in New York. You find them in Wurukum. So the next time when you show up for IEC, ask someone to get you a sample of alligator peppers. It's a strange kind of peppers. I mean, I don't try it out. <laughs> the, the Lord gives you understand. So they gave the guy alligator pepper to eat. And the reason why they gave him the pepper to eat was because he was in the flesh. They wanted him to, 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 to ascend. It's just like, you know, they need him high. So and the pepper could do that uh, as fast as possible. You can also achieve that with taking alcohol you, you can ascend into the frequencies of darkness those songs that people that are drunk sing they're actually hearing it eh? <laughs> the, the guys are actually hearing those songs so it's not as if they're just singing out of nowhere no somebody is dictating a tune the song may not have any relationship with the treble or the bass left but the song exists and it's being dictated to them and they are finding uh finding expression in the midst of that song so uh, they gave him the pepper and they, he, he went high in the spirit so they began to dictate to him how to set up a shrine and the technology they gave him is the kind of technology that mirrors the dimension the realm in which those spirits are found in the spirit realm so when you can mirror that dimension in the natural realm you can actually trap those spirits into that place where the shrine is so when chief said the thing is a spiritual reality and they found the technology to trap it in a physical material now so when you see an idol are you there the spirit is not always in that idol 24 hours a day the spirit only comes into that idol that idol is a technology i'm talking about and it's built to capture the dimension that the spirit operates so the spirit can be trapped in it okay so when they do incantations and do enchantments the enchantments mean to give instruction to demons so when they do enchantments the demons now are trapped in those vessels those vessels that are designed to contain them are you there i know it's on the screen just walk with me for now okay so so those those things they are depending on the spirit the vessels that can trap them are different um most of you don't know the dwarf spirits most of you don't know that you don't know the lexicon of spirits and today is not the day for that but there are containers that are used to trap dwarf spirits uh, dwarf spirits are the most vicious me messenger spirits and most of the people unfortunately in africa most of the people that go into politics use the services of these spirits when we when we come to talk about the lexicon of spirits at least the ones i have seen in deliverance in territorial warfare there are not too many but i've seen a few and uh, the ones that operate here in this land yes i've seen a few of them and the lord has taught me what we need to do to disarm them in fact some of the breakthroughs we have had as a ministry 
is because of the fact that we disarmed so many of such spirits that have been released to hinder the advancement of the kingdom of God. But today is not the day. Okay, so what we are saying is that you can trap those realities within a physical context so that there can be interaction, there can be exchange, and there can be transaction. Is that clear? So if you are watching us now from anywhere in the world, this is the physical object that that reality can be trapped in. Meanwhile, Chief, what is this thing? Because this one now is physical. What is this thing? This, this is captain. This one is, a, is, a, is an idol. This is an idol? Yes, sir. It's not that the picture is not white. It's an idol. It looks like this toy that baby is playing. It looks like a baby doll. Baby, do baby doll, yeah. And there are many of them. It could be carved wooden image. Or sometimes they use this thigh bone. Okay, the, 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 the thigh bone. Okay. Uh, of a human being. Of a human being. Yeah, so, so they, they, they sacrifice. And they, then the reality can come into that yes, bone. Yes, they will sacrifice somebody that has value. The All effect right, so, of... So, so listen, listen. They will sacrifice somebody that has value. Not just somebody walking around the streets. No, 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 no. Just, then they just catch the person and kill. No, no, no. The person is promising. He has a bright destiny. They have seen that if they allow him be, he will turn out to be a great person. So they sacrifice that person and then they use the blood, the poet, and it's activated. They pour it on this idol. Yes, and, and it's activated. The reality within it accepts that offering, then it is activated. And what will be the consequence? From that moment, an okay. ordinary person, I cannot see it. This one, the way I was seeing is because the powers have been deactivated. That's now, what I see. all right, so the reason why we can see this one right here, right now, is because it's not yet been activated. The moment it becomes activated, it is invincible. Is that what you're saying? Yes, sir. Oh, man. And now, so the next question family... I have for you, because I believe a thousand and one uh, people in our audience will be asking the same question. How did they discover this technology? Because it's not in our physics textbooks, it's not in the chemistry textbooks. Uh, the two people believe that this came from a Tulok tradition. I don't know how to read this, but it's oh, a foreign It means God. that the so Tulok people are technology. more advanced yes. in this technology. Who is an Tulok man here? I don't know whether... It's, that's true, but I heard it came from. <laughs> Pastor Ephraim, what do you know about these things? Because they said they imported it from among your people. Um, so, those of you online, please stay with me. It is for most of you that studied in Cambridge and in, in Harvard, in Oxford. Um, you are not likely to believe what we are sharing right now but you are a victim of it even even though you are in fact satanic power is more effective when you are absolutely ignorant of his presence and his potency that's the easiest way to be a perpetual victim your life will be shaped by it and you'll be unaware and you're the life of your children and it keeps going on until someone that is knowledgeable in the way of priesthood arises and sets up an altar that has the capacity to contend with the altar of the devil now so uh pastor Ephraim, yes sir. what do you know about they said this thing came from a tulo land not really from the information i have from my father okay it's from the other generation he he told me that it came from the crossoverian from mm. the crossover the people that the team called i'm down. seeing a lady from crossover yes, she's already yes. we got lady it stand up lady okay. yes i know the way you reacted i know you're from crossover so he told me it has been imported by the tea people from the Udam, which is crossing us. But the true people also got it from the tea people. Okay. It seems that every every ethnic extraction is denying the source of this. So this thing you see here is not a small thing. This thing is not a small thing. This thing you see. Okay. Sister from Crossover, do you know anything about this? Which part of Crossover are you from? Do you know anything about this? this technology okay the one i know is not really about prosperity it doesn't it's, it's not prosperous okay it doesn't prosper people no but so why it. what does it do it's just giving to a family to be powerful like they're just powerful over every other person powerful in prosperous. what sense powerful politically powerful like intellectually powerful financially not financially it's just you can it shows you have power you are not see the product of an altar is not is not an illusion when an altar is brought into a matter, there's there are practical solutions that you see on the ground. It's not an illusion. When you say power, what are you talking about? Yeah. 
you, she's not a surrogate. The, the, the definition she's giving is to this because you'll be powerful. You'll be powerful. Yes. Politically, if you contest, there are, there I know are seven corridors of power. Yes. There's intellectual power. There's financial power. There's political power. There's spiritual power. Are you there? Me, I have spiritual power. Huh? And it goes on like that. Seven corridors of power. And what you are saying doesn't suit any it's, of these. This corridors. particular one, they are the ones that are made the chief of the community. Is that not political power? Okay. Political if you are the chief of the co community, do you need more money? You just come up with a policy and say, all of you, bring money. <laughs> it depends on what you're looking for. Okay, it depends, it depends on, on what you're looking for. Yes, okay. if you're looking for money, money will come if you're looking for politics. Okay, if okay, you're, okay, okay, yes. I understand what Positions you're in politics. Power. Yes. Yes. Um, what's your name? Virginia. Virginia, all right. So you can turn in the microphone. So you were giving us a very deep... They believe so the when it is believe. serviced, it disappears? It disappears. And uh, it only appears when it needs they want to kill. Want to, what do you mean by that? To kill. For instance, if they want to kill somebody and the person is not available, okay, or maybe the person who wants to kill is having some level of compassion for the for, for the, the person. Thing. Yes, they, they want, want to lure kill. you to come in. Maybe they will send you go to so and so place, open so and so bag, and pick something there, and they bring for me. And as you get there, the thing will appear. Appear, and then it snaps you. As it snaps your picture, there's nothing. I, I only know two people that escape that. That okay, wait, wait. I mean, brethren, wait, wait I'm not wait. talking about believers. We're already confused. Brethren. We're already confused. Just like Satan carries a cannon camera snapping people. Yes, <laughs> we, we have seen the original cannon. <laughs> yes, sir. so so it takes your picture, takes your picture. Oh, that's when he begins to look for how to kill you. Look for a way to kill you, you know, ah. by accident. Sometimes, some of the accidents that happen actually is not accident, they already killed you already, and then they just. Uh, circumstances shoot. and situations just to state money something and translate, call this accident translate and effect the thing that's already being accomplished in the realm of the spirit yes all right so after this sacrifice what are the symptoms that you begin to find what is the effect of the sacrifice what uh, what happened is that the sacrifice is yearly either yearly depending on the, the covenant is it a yearly or maybe after three months or four months somebody will go down and it's them, just the way you were teaching the other time, they're the one to choose who should be killed. You can't just go and kill a drunkard. And all. They prefer graduates in the midst of illiterate because that will add more credit if I graduate. I heard that the value of a graduate is like 10 people put together. Okay, the value of an intellectual, the so, value of a graduate is like 10 novices put together. Put together, yes sir. And once somebody is killed... Think, at and, that point, we need to say the Lord have, may, the Lord have mercy. Yes. Once the blood is poured and is activated, what happens is that they make a contention that they will choose one person from the family that will be very powerful. So the impact, every other person, yes, the impact of all of that ritual that is done will be channeled in the life of one person. And you'll be very prosperous. It now, happens now that's, just like the ark in Obedidot's so, house. So, so, Within so a that's short a, period of time. That's the aspect that I want us to really dig into. Yes, How that man becomes prosperous. The spiritual power to empower him to prosper has been released. Yes, sir. Now, does he just sit at home and prosper? No, 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 no. He or must be doing something. He must be doing something. Even if his granite is selling. Even if his granite is selling, he will prosper and become big. Governors will be coming there to buy. Yes. I'm just trying to open your eyes to see when we say you have set up an altar. You cannot set up an altar. In fact, are you there? And do nothing and expect that something will come out of nothing. That's not how it works. And that's why the Bible says whatsoever he lays his hands upon to do it shall prosper the spiritual dimension the spiritual possibility the spiritual potential has been unleashed but you will need to translate it into goodwill into performance by laying your hands on something so there is a work aspect there's a work aspect so okay does this thing expire um it does it does, have a chef life it does not according to what i been told is that uh, an individual does not own it okay even if you desire to prosper you kill somebody or you have an, a wooden image you got a wooden image and then you kill somebody and activate it as soon as you activate it it disappears and it's a community that owes it ah. community of witches that's what the people call you it's a community of witches even if you yes. go and buy it bring it and you say you want to run private practice it might even disappear from your hand it, and it disappear appears. from your hand as soon as you activate in, it in the community of witches yes so they control it they determine who owes it 
and it's like this is where the democratic principles in Tiflan came from. This is what this thing they call Yana Wait, 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 wait. This is rotational. You are, you are talking to English men. Okay. <laughs> that dimension you went. <laughs> May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. Christ. Amen. Now listen. I'm tempted to talk about witchcraft, but I resist the temptation. Can you see that this type of empowerment is stirred, is controlled by the community of witches? There are many of you that cannot understand your warfare. And most times you want to fight your warfare alone. You are not capable. And that's the reason why we hold corporate services. It's because your warfare began from a community of witches. It will take a community to contend with the community. And that's why spiritual warfare in the book of Ephesians chapter 6, he said, we wrestle. I just spoke with a sister of ours. She went to study in the United Kingdom. And suddenly, this, this cycle of depression begins to hit her and all of that. And then she reports. I said, sister, there is a coven close to where you are schooling. And the spells are being casted on the entire community. I know you are keeping your own prayer watches. But it seems you pray alone. She said, yes. I said, you know, your own prayer as an individual, as powerful as it is, cannot counteract a conclave of witches. The context must be the same in the case of the administration of an altar to shield you from the effect of another altar. If it was set up by an individual, then your own individual altar. Do you get that? And that's the reason why we come. You know, to come here for 40 days, I know, I know you are spending money for transport. There's a lot of that that is going underground but um, the collective benefit from gathering like this together and the spiritual power that we can muster on the strength of this corporate gathering makes it worth all the while and there are many of us that have come here just for a good worship service and you did not know that you were already the you were the the photographer the spiritual photographer had snapped you and there are many of them and you can bear witness that we have been able to pick out of the congregation and break that hold of satanic photography form. You must understand that there is something called a community of witches. They influence the lives of people in territories, influence the lives of people in families, and it is always a corporate satanic effort. And that's why we need to also have a corporate divine community that we maintain a corporate altar. Now, so, so, um, the, the person must do something yes, sir. in order for the goodwill that has been generated to translate into finances, to translate into the greatness that uh, that community of witches have bestowed upon him. Now my question is, does he pay any form of taxes or royalties to the community of witches that have picked him out of the pool of men and have decided to empower him? That one, maybe they're doing it spiritual is not something I'm aware of, but I know that <clears throat> And it's, it's rotational. It's rotational. So rotational. they can decide that uh, you've used it for seven years. Uh, your time has expired. Let us hand it over to someone else or another clan. Yes, sir. and normally somebody must die. You see, in order to activate Before, it for that clan, somebody yes. on that clan will die. To take it from you, somebody must die. To, to take the it from place you, where they are taking it to, <laughs> somebody will die there too. Before. All right. So you must have heard in the lecture. You must have heard in the lecture that the dialect that the spirit realm can understand is called what? Sacrifice. I heard okay. that where it's being kept, sometimes they dig the ground and put it there. Some are inside a tree. Some are kept, they carry it in their body. It's, it's being kept in different places. Like the one that my pastor went to pray for. The pastor was praying for uh, the man. And then his eyes opened. It broke. was the man that came to him and said that he has I have one. He I has have one. one. Okay. And the thing is killing people and now he has gotten born again. And doesn't know what to do. So the pastor prayed for him. He told the pastor that he's being kept, his own is being kept inside a mango tree. Okay. And so he prayed for him, and after the prayer, the pastor God picked him, and he was slain. And then the pastor told him that that mango tree would die, as a sign that the powers of the devil has been deactivated. And actually, that was what happened. So they have different places that where they kept them. But what I heard is that if it's kept under the ground, mm -hmm. that royalty thing that you talk about, this the kind of money that they that come there occasionally to, you know, drop. The I am lesser aware, denomination. I'm aware that you must pay for yes, your... this kind of money that they come there and drop. You know, and drop. And Where was it that we went to? 
I've forgotten the name of the city, somewhere in Europe. And there's a fountain where people go to drop money. Uh, one of our friends, he took us there, um, Pastor Emmanuel. Uh, Philip, if you have the poster for Pastor Emmanuel, you will put it on at the end of my service, my sermon. And so Pastor Emmanuel took me there, and people come there, and uh, they say it is said that if you two people are in love, they go there and throw coin and make covenant. If you see the number of coins that I met, <laughs> may the Lord help us all in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you know that you went and did something, love covenant, took blood, you say, raise your hand now. Now that we are coming on this covenant, love co Okay, okay, so there's no, so there's no, all right. So, you know, this is the house of God. Don't hide. We may not come this way again for another three years. You, you did a love covenant with a lady and you promised her that you, you two of you will marry. All right, so we'll pray for you and break that thing off your neck before the end of this meeting in the name of jesus christ okay yes any other final comments uh, on this matter well this is i said, I said earlier on some they are in animals they hide them in animals no 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 something like there's something they call are you are you is is a controversial demon that it's a mermaid actually are you is mermaid is it mermaid manatee manatee, manatee yes down here is fish up here is a woman a human being let me say human being up here human being it's a fish down there fish up here human wait i think we are saying different things is it are you talking about a mermaid yes is it real it's real if you go to zoo here this uh Venice State zoo you see the skin where the, the one that was killed the skin you see it i, I saw it they we are going there tomorrow okay sir <laughs> can i throw some light on that please all the light all the light throw <laughs> <laughs> a mermaid is different from manatees okay manatees okay. manatees is a fish right. but it has this mystery about it that when you get the head you know it has some strands of hair you have some strands of yes. hair yes that's true. once you get it and make a sacrifice it will have the same effect like that uh, oh like this that thing. is what i'm talking yes. about yes sir so people catch that fish and they use the head yes once you go to a fisherman and they, you know they, they they have caught this one you will buy but okay. once blood is offered uh on it okay it becomes very potent Jesus. in attracting prosperity do you know that it's only when we get to heaven that we'll know everyone we'll understand many things but let us have sufficient understanding to disarm Satan while we are here. No wonder they killed that one in the zoo. Okay, yes, sir. Jesus Christ. Before we knew it, the one in the zoo. Because when I was small, we used to go to the zoo to, to see the manatee. Then only for me to come back when I started schooling in the university here, there was no more manatee there. It's dangerous, sir. It's dangerous. Because anybody can come there and steal it and use it for. All right, very dangerous. Right. Now, put your hands together for Sir Donatus. So the idea of the altar is to get and to be able to access the power that the spirit being has and to propel that power for good. Okay? To propel that power for good. Now the Bible says, You shall remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to make wealth to make wealth it means that jehovah has and meanwhile the bible also says that the blessings of the lord it maketh rich and it added no sorrow to it the reason why it adds no sorrow is because the holy ghost is the original spirit that is designed to make us wealthy see if you if you access a wrong spirit to make you wealthy it may be able to make you wealthy but it will add its own its own native its own native signature will be added on your life are you there if it's originally a spirit of barrenness a fertility spirit it will impact barrenness and bless you with barrenness in addition to what you sought from it 
but the bible says that the blessings of the lord it makes rich and it adds no sorrow so the man that is into business the man that is into politics the man that is into ministry the man that wants to ascend in his career must know how to set up an altar in his business set up an altar as the heart of his political endeavor set up an altar in that area of endeavor in order to channel the power of god and to use the power of god as the driving force of that establishment now so what happened to obededon was that the ark was deposited in his compound for custody they did not tell him how to relate with the ark they did not tell him how to function with the ark in fact he was not educated everyone everyone wanted to leave the scene of the death of Uza and go as far as possible he did not have a choice in the matter if not he would have requested that the ark should not be deposited in his compound now that it was a royal decree that was responsible for positioning the ark in his compound he now realized that okay i can as well benefit from it so i, I told you that the dialect of, of, of priesthood the dialect of that spirits can understand is the dialect of sacrifice so i can imagine that this guy obed edom sacrificed to the ark and he began to honor the presence of god he began to honor the presence of god and he was doing it regularly and then the effect of what he was doing began to affect every aspect of everything that he did now i have a friend in abuja and this my friend decided to start a fellowship in his office he's the md of his office and his office is in a very business side of abuja it's in that uh, it's a business side uh, what i mean by that is that uh, there are no residential buildings close to the area because it's fully a business uh, estate so he set up a fellowship in his office so no matter the business you want to bring to the office forget about it if it's on friday and it's um 7 a.m to 10 a.m forget about that business in fact he went as far as importing equipment from the united states of america to make the worship experience very fluid the sound is powerful so anytime i find myself in abuja on friday morning i hop into that place and, and I, I tell him i'm not coming here to preach so don't even look at me because they do some some very powerful prayers from that you know so i just soak myself and he has some worshipers i don't know where he got those those people when they begin to sing is something else so it is easy for me to inquire of the lord the things that i'm asking god about it's easy for me to get a feedback on that, that atmosphere so i cherish that fellowship so much anytime i'm in abuja so we hop into the place and i hide by one corner and i just enjoy the worship i enjoy the prayers and i get answers for myself all right so and that's all i don't want to do anything and i told him i don't want to do anything you know i just i just i just enjoy then we now started noticing something because in that company part of what they do is that they give out loans and then they re recover the loans with an interest okay then this occultic woman now shows up and he collected the loan without any intention to pay and the reason for which he had the audacity to do that was because she was in league with several demonic altars that were very potent so they went to court and the lady has a relationship with the judges and you know how terrible it can be do you know that that my friend was the only man that lady could not defeat the altar they have been praying on worshiping on in that office the presence of the lord that they revered on that in the platform of that office went to i saw it with my eyes terrible woman the presence of God that they've been acknowledging in that office arose and I saw the hand of God in court and this altar brought that woman down to nothing now the kind of business if, if you if you ask me I will not do that kind of that kind of business if you ask me 
but as as terrible as the business looks from your perspective as an analyst as an accountant hey they are making profits they are surviving not because the idea of the business is tight it's because the day he steps down from that place and say he's not he's not running this business again give that business three months it no longer exists what is keeping it is the altar so my question to you businessman businesswoman my question to you uh, if you if you sell in the market you have uh, trade trade out outlets here and there is is there any time on that your platform that you shut down and attend to god our cousins on friday when it's time for prayer it doesn't matter the business that you bring because all of their business outlets submit under the authority of the altar that they respond to so that's the reason why sometimes they are very strong in business it's because they have exalted the altar that they subscribe to higher over and above their business but for a believer it is difficult for him to have a routine that is going to exalt his altar much more than his business. Hey there. This, my friend, they bought equipment. You need to see where is Smith. I think Smith, you have minister. Is Smith in this? You have ministered there before. So that fellowship is so serious that they invite Smith to come on Friday. A very, very corporate environment to come and hold worship. And you know because the environment is corporate the kind of people that you see come there are not <laughs> you find the kind of people that is in the shape of the environment and sometimes the attendance is so much that they don't know where to put people i told him why are you still here move this thing to another location and people are looking forward to fridays do you know that that man decided that okay once a month let them do night vigil in that office and corporate people will come do night vision they will stop it almost to the break of day almost sleep for one hour and from there go to office they put the name of the lord on that office and i've seen the way god has fought for that business it is not natural it is not natural and i was challenged i'm not a businessman but what i saw in that outlet provoke me to study the Bible because if they are doing this thing and it's working it means it was in the Bible but we didn't see it. then I found out and that's the same thing that happened when the ark of God was brought into the estate of Obed Edom the Bible says that everything that pertained to him began to prosper are you there everything that pertained to him began But once upon a time, I now realize that if I'm going to grow in the healing and anointing, the prayer I pray, the one you pray for me, and all of that will not be enough. So there was a need to do something even more bold, more deliberate than what I can do. Set up an altar. The Lord gave us an instruction on how to set up that altar. And the details of that altar, I cannot share it in public. The thing I noticed after we began to obey what God instructed is that I feel whenever I'm ministering, it has not come up, but it will come if I pray some prayers. The hand of God. Do you know the experience of having the hand of God on your head? Do you know what I'm talking about? All right. So that's it's under that cloud I minister now. The hand of God is upon my head. If I decide some things are up to me now, not up to God again. If I decide that what I want now is I want to be knowing things about people and I want to know it for two hours, it will, it will happen. Because the hand of God, those days I will come with an anointing and minister and the anointing will go down. You, you understand what I'm talking about? It will diminish as you are ministering. So you need to go and fill up. I no longer have those experiences. I'm plugged into heaven. What I'm talking about here is that we need to be more intentional. Somebody says he has a, he's looking for a contract that is worth um, 57 billion naira. 
and he cannot set up an altar a 24 hour altar that will ensure that that contract passes i know a man are you still with me i know a man that his name appeared in heaven his name not just only me you know like i said in 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 prophecy if it's prophecy we have a conclave of the prophetic because every prophetic word must be judged right it must be judged so that's why we have a, a conclave of prophets we sit on that table and then i bring this is what i saw number one if i'm the only one that saw that thing i claimed i saw cancelled do you understand bring number two okay somebody saw it somebody saw it we'll take number two because the bible says concerning prophecy that let one person prophesy and let others judge it means that if it's the belly of the holy ghost we are speaking from i'm not going to have a private position that is not revealed to other people do you understand that you are, you are not with me the bible is not capable of private interpretation that's how prophecy is it's not you cannot be the only one that is seeing what you are seeing in the entire body of christ it's, it's important so I bring number three out, and there are other people that saw number three, so I mark it. So it's only these ones I've marked that I can speak publicly because they have been judged. Better. And if you are going to be safe in the use of prophecy, this is how to be safe. Because prophecy has to be judged. And the people that are on the prophetic table carrying out this judgment have a very strong prophetic history. You understand that? When insights are coming, new insights, new revelation, new stuff like that, it, it, it is judged. So, more than one, two people on the prophetic table saw the name of a certain person appear. That that person will be the president of this country. And I have no doubt in my heart that it was true. Are you there? So people went and told the person. I was not among the people. They went and told the person. And the person did nothing about it. He did not set up an altar around that purpose of God. You know what? If you don't set up an altar around it, it is open for manipulation. I don't want to go into details because it's a sensitive matter. We cry today in Nigeria because that person did not. From the map that we have seen, we are not supposed to be in captivity at this time as a nation. But nothing was done. No altar was set up to drive that political agenda. When the sons of darkness saw that there was a gap, <laughs> They went and offered strange sacrifices. And even though once upon a time, the person of which I speak was the darling of Nigeria, they were able to move that favor in another direction. Nigeria is spiritual. And the purposes of God that lock in the nation can only be realized by spiritual people. So I'm going to end at this point. Hallelujah. Okay, maybe, I don't know if it's God's will for us to stay here for today and maybe continue um, tomorrow on the subject of interest. But we weep today because a man refused to rise. The fact that he's captured in the purpose of God does not mean that our partnership in terms of priesthood is not required for the purpose of God to come to pass. Listen to me. God's purposes must come to pass. It is only God's men that can change. Now I know that purpose will yet come to pass, but it will no longer be through that man. If you know that you are dispensable, are you there? That purposes can still come to pass without you. If you know that you are dispensable, then you'll become very intentional about your altar. Your altar is a sign that you are ready to fulfill destiny. If a 24-hour prayer watch for six months was set up, it doesn't matter which deity and which siren was sacrificed to. 
Yes, we'll see the efforts of their priesthood, but it will be insufficient to win the day. Please help me tell your neighbor, please don't attempt destiny. Finish. Finish destiny. Paul did not say that I attempted my calling. He did not say that I tried. He said, I have finished my course. Tell your neighbor again, the one, the one on the other side, don't attempt destiny. Finish it. So eventually what the person did at the end of the day was that it was an attempt. He just attempted. He just attempted. And that window was manipulated again. Even though the time of our wilderness journey as a nation was measured in the balances and the end of it was decreed. We were turned again into the desert. And now our borders are besieged. I found the scripture for us for the evening. No, let me keep it. Since we're already climbing to seven o'clock, can we take a moment and just pray? We'll take a moment. We'll, we'll continue tomorrow. And then we'll go into the subject of emphasis as prescribed by the caption above. Oh, we would have been basking in glory by now. The seasons of actualization as a nation would have been upon us. The true potential of the Igbo nation would have started speaking. The true potential of the Tiv nation. At this time, we should, have been, we should be taking mineral audit, mineral deposits audit. And how foreign investments can come into our corridors to take advantage of the vast islands of of mineral deposits. The God of heaven that created Nigeria never intended that any citizen of this country would be poor. And I speak just from my knowledge of our capacity and our potential from the perspective of the oil industry. Never intended that any poor man will walk this ground. But when you bring altars and the conclave of witches and the determinant factors, then princes will walk on foot and servants will ride on horseback. Can we say no to the abomination in the spirit? Maybe princes are walking on foot in your family. Maybe servants are riding on horseback, using the blood of men to drink wine. You can come against it. You can come against it right now. He said, if my people that are called by my name who humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. If my people that are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways i will hear from heaven i will forgive their sins and i'll heal their land it is only his people that can determine what will happen when the conclave of wizards determines what happens it is either god does not have a people all his people have refused to transact by their altars. If my people, if my people, if my people, Ranto Seliman de Cabosa, Roque Bami Sekedianto, Rusketa Mande Kiria Bama Matala, Yale Boria Skitobre. Bambo la suke brabina cantelia is cobrekete la sumantala babonde ramina kusketa brende keri asamantala babonde kabasila raiko bemina soke romanis romanis saliko bama haila rakambe sosela la briaka bonsa nika santa babonde la ais kobila nemina lia bababaya in my people god is saying what 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 exactly are my people saying what are my people saying because it depends upon my people it depends upon my people it depends upon you it depends upon me is there an idol in your family that has been activated the conclave of witches the conclave of wizards 
they have activated it and demons of darkness are coming to plunder that family death visits again and again he said if my people if my people if my people that are called by my name Esosela <laughs> Baseliko Santoria, Eska Branta Basika Branta Babogo Dale, Laiko Seba Sebriata Babonde Catela, Abrama Santa Branta Baboka Pande, Ayakonse, Ika Bramenala, Robin and Santelia, Rakos Ketobre, Rakos Cata Bande, Rakos Semina Itala, Rako Pantelia, Bosque Tali, Bosque Sansala, Bosque Selacabo, Roque Masaleta, Abraita Comelite. A bright and gobe light, Shebin and Tendo Compelama, Raka Santelia Bretabone, Raka Bosamena, Aika Bande Gosil, Aika Bremana Talata. If my people, Rako Seminato, Ecoskete Branta Babone, Yaka Benda Babole Bacadia, Escabaranda Branta Babosca, Lamina Sua, Lamina Tanda, Lamina Sand, Lamina Colebandolo, Raba Santa Branta Babalaya. Ega basketa banda babola kade, sebe na kadi banda babola kano, raka banda baboni bakadi, raka banda basanda, raka banda babola kadi, banda banda balata ya, banda bakonde balata ya, ega banda la babogo basaya, ega brenda bayada balata, aka banda babola bakadi banda babola. Yala babosa katadia, lendo baskande brenda babola kada, raka bendo kosketa mena kadia, brenda baya. Rata baya, gata bonde gasame, a prescote branda babola kadia, a bahanda babose, a letoba, a leta cola, a leta candela, a gaba cavala, a geto bandaba, a gaba lataba, a leto celebaya. Prescota mante cabola bata, raka basanda baboria, e la brosqueta bena kadia. Esta branda basaka, esta balata branda babolata, agabanda babolata branda baboria. Hey, come on, go set the idea. Obrega do satanala, raka banda babole bakasketa me. La aiso se me na kile, a tua la boske, meratis, merakaba, a branda babosa, a branda da banda baboria. Abrata basanda, abrata da bala babolia, abrata da babola ba, abrata bala da abrata babola ba, abrata bala bala da abrata babola ba, abrata bala da abrata babola ba, abrata bala da abrata babola ba, abwa bala la la bala da abrata babo, abwa bala da la la sobri la babola, abrata basaka ta la babote, ala joba ka ta la babote, ala makoto ka ta la babana babote, paita balote. Baita balote basi, rande kori abra manta la babogola, abre basuke, abra nda basobala, ayadora, ale basanda, ayadola, ramos abelaita, manta kobelasi. In the name of Jesus. Remember, when you set up any altar, remember. The altar becomes powerful the moment the supervising spirit of the altar comes and begins to give you instruction. There's nothing as powerful as following the instructions of your supervising spirit. In fact, the altar is not in force until feedback starts coming. You can say, for the next six months, all the profits that will be made from the business should be channeled here. And he'll be waiting for you to obey. The one that tends to the priest must recognize the authority of his supervising spirit. If you are not ready to recognize his authority, you are not ready for priesthood. You, are still, you still want to be manipulated. You want your destiny to be controlled. We left that, that league. We left it long time ago. 
So I need to ask you a question. When last did God instruct you, give this amount away? When last? When last? Your sacrifices in terms of prayer, fasting, and all of that is to pull God close and then to make his own demand. You see, the sacrifices you're offering, you predetermined what you wanted to offer. But when your supervising spirit comes, he, he requests of you. He requests of you. There is no way you'll be on the same level with the tide of the meltdown, the tide of the inflation, if you are obeying the voice of your supervising spirit. Sometimes they'll give you strange instructions. They can tell you, look for two widows, adopt one of their children, and see them through school. One, one each. And as you are doing that, you just discover that the business will be working. That was the wisdom. And there is no way you can use your mathematical brain to come about the instructions that the, your supervising spirit would have given you. So what I'm saying to you tonight is this. If you, are, if you are sincere in your heart and you start running that prayer using business time, watch out. He will come and speak to you. He will come. He will show you what to do. When we come into the lecture tomorrow, I'm going to show you this principle in a more robust perspective. God is aware of the famine before it comes. And everyone in the Bible that contended with famine, there was a divine instruction that God gave. And each instruction was unique to the famine experience. Each. Can we pray today? I say, Lord, open my ears and reveal your strategy to me. Open my ears and reveal your strategy. Most times we don't stay long in prayer. We don't stay long. You're not desperate enough. There is a strategy that God has for you. There is a strategy. There is a strategy. Open my ears. I need to know your strategy. Don't just sit down because if you sit down, this famine will deal with you. The famine will wreck you. There is a strategy. There is a strategy. He will reveal the secret to you. And if you are foolish enough to obey that secret, if you are foolish enough to obey that secret, the strategy, the strategy, as foolish as it is, will be the reason why the hand of God will rest upon you. There is a strategy. I love Osama Halata. Escobar Mahiso Sela Elevandeli. Like on Prescata Bonda Ala Bokotama, Rakasanta Baboketa Lesco Pare, Jamenai Compende, Jamenai Comparata, Abraham Santa Branda Babola Cata Balatania, Ebramante Ragaba Sobria La Babonda, Ayabayata, Ayabayata, Iela Bantoma, Iela Banso Balata, Iela Banso Menat, I Compala Santa Bala, Abranta Babo Semalia. Abantala babori maskata, aye mamana, aye mamana satelia, abraba sata, abraba bata blanda babolata, aya mata baboko sata, aya masata blanda babolata, aya maseka talia, aya masata la baboria, iga bandela vina, iga balanta blanda babolata, aya masata babori bakadia, shemina laiko baluata, abaka masata, abres kopela. There is always a strategy. Romania Sika Batora La Hasketo Pre Kofelami Seminaiko Rande Kasalabata Endere Kosame Endere Kosame Raka Botala Raka Basala Babone Amakaito Kombela Apresco Balanto Apresco Parabate Apresca Lebo Korea Abrata Basopenata Abrata Balata Babola Abrata Basavia Abrata Babolatwa Abrata Babolatwa Seminaita Bala Abrata Salabadoria Ebrata Basata Abrata 
Ay, 